Hey guys, Jesse here, playing Dread X Collection 2. Okay, let's just start. If I remember correctly, we only have one game left, you know? But potentially we're not going to be able to unlock everything because you need to beat the games and there are a few here that I have not beaten and I do not intend to beat them. So if I eventually, you know, find how to hack the things, we will do them. We got 11 comic pages, we don't have any keys from what I'm seeing, so we need to go and get a key. If I remember correctly, there is just one final puzzle on top of this thing. So we're just gonna go, we're gonna get the final key. Which is like over here somewhere. Now this one we got... Okay, the final key is in this room. And it should be pretty simple. Subject 1, young, healthy. Cell death balance with cell growth. Delusions of consciousness forming. Subject 2, past 25 years of age. Mitochondrial malfunctions increase cell death. The body has begun to die. Subject 3, the brain neurotransmitters have ceased. The delusions of consciousness are forever lost. Okay, here's the key, you know, in that box, so we change the things, you see that one is open now, that one is open now. And that one is open. It's done. We got the key. Awesome. Thank you. You know, I don't like you. I want to leave the... I want to leave the lady. Yeah, she looks nice. Okay, we got all the keys. What is this? Weird. Time to unlock the final game. And like I said, since this thing it requires you to finish the games, I don't think we'll be able to unlock the final content, which I am guessing is behind this door, which is locked. We'll see, we'll see. Final game to unlock. 12 games. This one. Charlotte's Exile by John Zimanski. Charlotte has gone missing. The last hope of her embrace lies with an old not note written in an ancient language. Okay, we're gonna use the key. We got the tape and comic book page. Okay, so, last comic book had... page. I walked back to my car and took the nozzle out of the end tape. It didn't really matter. I didn't have far to go. I could just walk. So I did. I was already home. I just hadn't realized it before. You greeted me at the door. You missed me. You were terrified. others, an endless fountain of infinity. I'm still learning, but now you're dead. You never really were alive. 
that is you. Only endlessness awaits me. Okay, that was really weird, you know? Also, I think she has like a the cat eye over here. It was really low, you know? I don't know if I can do something in post-processing to make, uh, you know, her voice like louder. But we got all tw 12 comic pages. Okay, I guess the final game. Uh, no. Lipsy's thing in the lake, Charlotte's thing is the final one. Charlotte's exile, this is the final one. Charlotte's exile. Okay. Options. Start. My beloved Charlotte, the woman that had become as much a part of me as I was of myself. She had always been ravenous in studying the ancient texts left of the Eldritch Gods. I didn't understand what she told me about her studies, but I supported her as best I could. Yes, that's what you do when, you know, the lady uh, studies the ancient texts left of the Eldritch Gods. And then, one day, she began to talk of such things as saving our realm from the incoming evil and being infested by an approaching darkness. I woke the next morning and she was gone. A note left to me only contained the words, I have been banished to the ancient realm. It is for the best. Yes. You know, sometimes you get banished to the ancient realm. Distraught and searching for anything I could do to bring her back, I sought the help of a miser high in the mountains. He showed me but one hope, a torn scrap of ancient text describing the process of recapturing the essence of a loved one from the dark pits of that shadowy place. Torn and ragged, it was written in an eldritch language long forgotten by our culture, known only to those who had contact with the eldritch gods themselves. Yeah, everything is eldritch. I snatched the scrap from the old man and brought it to the great library. I thought I could use the texts written there to decode the alphabet of the ancient language so I could know the secrets written on the scrap of paper and bring her back to me. Good plan. In the library, then, is where my story begins. Yes. So we're in the library, you know, doing the, the eldritch decoding. Okay, left click to interact. We got over here a thing. Which we can click. Then that didn't work. Over here we got a thing. A, B, C, D, okay. And we got this. Apparently there is like, this thing is this one, you know? And this thing is this one. No, apparently not. So. Apparently, it's just like everything, it is written in English, you know? Hmm. Okay, so we got like the text over here. And if it is written in English and it's just like one symbol corresponds to another symbol, which would be really weird because the Eldritch language would have been English. You could start by counting the, the amount of times you, like, one symbol it's, uh, you know, repeated, and then start guessing. For instance, I'm seeing a lot of instances of this, you know, this symbol. And in English, E is the most common letter, you know. You can... You can read something about this in the uh, an Edgar Allan Poe tale, like the, the Golden Bug or something like that, you know? So, if we assume that this is E, you see, and for instance, we got a lot of E's here. Could that be E? I'm seeing a lot of repetitions of that one. And... Um, you see, we got, I'm guessing this could be 
potentially her, you know? And this could be the. I don't know, we'll see. This is just a speculation because I need like a clear text. But that's how you solve that thing. Over here we got a clock. Oh. Look at this. If I change this. You see? Interesting. Hmm. Some sort of code. Okay, so Eldritch beings, you see, and there is something here compiled for the study and protection against the ancient terrors. Okay, there's my first clue. I should jot that down. Monsters part A. Monsters part. Okay, so this thing is A apparently, you know. Okay, I'm gonna get a piece of paper. And we're gonna start, you know, like uh, writing things there. Okay, this piece of paper is not very good, but okay, we'll do what we can with this. So, this thing is A. Okay. So, uh, draw a line from A to the ancient symbol found in the book. Okay, we're going to. Like, okay, so this is to uh, this one, A, you see, like I said, it's in English, okay, hey, Cthulhu, you see, mighty Cthulhu, always appears in these kind of things, Cthulhu, the dark being. Feared by all, Cthulhu causes the subconscious feelings of anxiety felt by generation to generation. Uh, he currently slumbers in the ancient Rome, although it is thought he could return, return someday. His name, this was, was lengthened when translated by the old English scribes, adding who in the middle to visually describe his prominence in the ancient texts. Okay, so you are saying that H U L H, so it should be C T N. Okay, so C T N, it's like this one, this one, I'm just drawing the things, and this one. Like I said, they, they wrote in, in ancient English or something. Okay. So, C corresponds to um, this one. Uh, T corresponds to, I think it's this one. Yes, yeah, this one. Let me see. Yeah. And N corresponds to this one. You see, we're starting to get the things. Uh, the end of Nyarlathotep. A servant that carries out duties in Nyarlathotep's absence. It is a being that stays in the shadows whose goal is to see the return of its master. It will stalk towards any creature slowly and, and quietly if it, knows that if it knows that Nyarlathotep's return is being threatened. Uh, if it is seen when closing in on its goal, whatever that be, it seems to retreat. Okay. Goodness. Oh, the eye of Nyarlathotep. Yes, it's the eye of Nyarlathotep, and it lurks here, and if it's close, look at it. Okay, I'm not seeing the eye of Nyarlathotep, but apparently it took the thing over here. There was a thing. Hey, stupid eye of Nyarlathotep, give me back my damn thing. 
This is the bull crap. There was a box. Okay. Rat mass. The mass of rats. A bunch of rats stuck together with glue. Pretty basic, if you ask me. Mentioned only once in the ancient text. Horrific for no reason as much as simply being sort of gross. It's just a bunch of rats with glue, you know. Writer describes it as being... What? The eye of Nyarlathotep was running around, I think. Being no shape and all shapes, no order but all beauty. Mm. A sight of true ter horror and magnificence. The true definition of a... Uh, rats? Mass? One can construct a red mass at home with the proper supplies. Apply glue liberally. Hmm. The true definition of a th something. I don't know what this of a mass could be mass. I think it, this is mass, you know. And if this is mass, because this is this A. Yes, it is A. So this is M. Some mass. So this one is like this thing. And um, this one is S. Okay. So now we have M and S. So M is the one that looks this one. And S is this one. Okay. Uh, go go bo gag mountainous. Oh no. A pillar of melting flesh sprouting from the earth. Gobog appears only once before being quickly banished by the something. The earthquake it caused in its short time on earth brought many civilizations to their knees, causing a large rift between those affected and the few nations who were not. It has no known uh, way to be resummoned. Hmm. Okay, so let me see. I don't know this one. Mm. Do I know this one? No, I don't know this one. I think this might be E. Hmm. Hounds of Tindalos. 340. Oh, 340. Not quite hound and not quite being. The hounds are thought to be too horrific to describe. Then are a being that exists only in time and manifests through space to follow its prey. It is said that the hounds are not the only objects to exist in time and that even words themselves can be communicated through the realm that the hounds inhabit. 340. 3. 40. Is this the thing? So SD, SD, N, A, E, M, S. So, uh, what is this? Hmm. S D N A E M S could be this the thing S D N E A E M -S. no this is not it Hans of Tindalos Let me see something S D N A N A E M S this is 340. Hmm. The Nopke. Forearm creatures that live in the deepest 
coldest parts of the earth, notably Antarctica and high in the mountains, when uh, they often live alone, although have been records uh, to some together under certain dire circumstances. Uh, uh, although have been recorded to come to uh, recorded to come together under certain dire circumstances, most famously when the Nop Kek banish Gogobweg themselves, seeing humanity's future on the planet, securing humanity's future on the planet. So the Gogobweg were were banished by the Nop Kek. So I'm going to write this down. G N O P H. I'm guessing this is K E H. Yes. So these were banished by the. Okay. So G is this thing. N we already know is now there's a problem here because n we have it okay something is not this is n g n mm. Oh, I messed up. This is U. This is not an N. This is a U. Okay. So I did mess up. I had I had the N which we're going to remove. This is U here. Okay. You see? That that's more like it. I, I messed up, you know? I messed up. Okay, so now we can look at this. So N is this thing. Okay. O is oh O is the one I thought was E. Interesting. P, we don't know P, so P, oh, we know, I think we know P. No, it's, a, it's different, it's the other one. Okay, so P is like this one. And H is this one, you see? So it's like a T with a thing over here, and like an L. K is like um, it's like a dome. This one over here. There. E. Oh, we got E. Interesting. E is like a, this star, you see? And H is the same one over there. Okay. So let's start G. G, 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 G. This is G. I'm guessing this is G. It's a weird G. G, it appears to be this one. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to put E immediately. Because it's, it's like the most common. And I'll see it uh, with many repetitions. As we, oh no, I'm seeing now the repetition. This is E. Yeah, you see? It's populating. Okay, so N is like this one. N is this one. Okay. O is like an E, this one. P 
it's this one okay ancient ancient you see ancient we we're getting we're getting a lot of letters um h is this one weird with the this one yes this one you see the those ancient okay and a k k is the one that has like a turtle thing there you go okay oh sorry okay so i translated everything there what else do we have hounds of tindalos the knock care eldritch devices so the d this is d you see uh do i have d no i don't have d so d is like this thing with this and this okay so d is uh, this one mm, summoning uh, the muffle d those press those beneath okay most okay got a lot of a lot of this you know okay clock of tindalos an artifact stolen from time itself the clock displays different messages caught in time depending on where it it hands land the message it shows are never ordered, instead appears as a string of letters to be sorted out by those that observe them. It is rumored that adjusting its hands creates altogether new connections from time to space. Oh. Okay. So 340. Mm. Madness. Madness. Okay. So madness. House of Thindalos, three forty. Madness. Well, good. The ancient box. Taken from the depths of the ocean, this box contains a secret known to only the ones that hid it. Ancient texts describe the way to open it has been thrown into the streams of time to keep its secret safe from the eldritch monsters. Traditions hold that the box can be opened through the use of a single word, although many have tried and been unable. It should be madness, you know. But the problem is that the box is gone. Some jackass stole it. Eldritch Boar. Used for banishment and summoning for creatures from the ancient realm to the human realm and back. The Eldritch Boar was developed as a, man, a, a, as a way to dispel the ancient horrors. The combinations used to conduct these acts have been slowly lost over time. Although scraps of combinations written in the ancient alphabet still exist. Okay, Monsters Parrot B. So B is this, you know, B is like there with here and there over there. So B is um, this one. Okay. Star spawn. Star spawn of Cthulhu, an elder civilization, this being seems to be made neither of matter or energy. A handful of scripts uh, 
uh, Chris detail exist, detailing encounter with a store spawn changing from its own to a different shape and back again, possibly even in non creature forms. It is unclear what connection they share with Thulu except uh, adherent worshippers. Okay, store spawn Satsugua, the toad god. Satsugua slumbers in the ancient realm oozing small toads out of its pores. It is recorded that these small toads either explode after a few moments or cross the dimensionary path to the human realm, where they will take the form of a wild bear and then explode. Hmm. The chunks of these toad bears can be reassembled to make clever gifts for parties or other get-togethers. That is weird. Shoggoth. Blob-like beings that can envelop creatures and not creatures alike. The Shagat possess uh, incredible speed in immense cold, but slow and become more puddle-like in warmth. Okay, yeah, it's a Shagat, you see. Early manuscript seems to uh, something Shagat as harmless creatures, something even shortening the name and adding an I at the end. Okay. As was common in the ancient language to show endearment. Okay. Shortening their name and adding an I at the end. So I'm guessing this is I, you know? So I, it's like this thing and this thing with a thing over there. So we're going to I. is this one okay shortening the inner name i'm guessing that means shock uh, uh, shog shoggy that's what they're saying so this is g i don't think we have g yes we have g and in fact is that one so S, do we have S? Yes, we have S, is that one. H, we have H and is that one, yes. O, O, we have O and is that one, GG. Okay, we got the I from this one, you know, just this one. Uh, what is this? A, 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 a duck on? Rubber, d d duck, duck, quack, ducko. Okay, ducko has become an eldritch being somehow and is just living it up. Instead of bringing terror to everyone, ducko has used his eldritch powers to make sure that everyone has a really nice day and insists on not taking a break to eat a sandwich. Okay, ducko uh, would also like to be uh, uh, would like you to know that the means quack. Okay, we got Q, we got Q from this, and U, I think we have the U, yes, we have U from the Cthulhu thing, is that what, so we got Q, Q is like a box, you know, it's like the box with two things, and this one, so let's just connect this real quick, Q is like, this box? No, this one. Okay, that's Q. U, we have. A, we have. C, we have. And this one we have. We got the Q from this, you know. Rand, Thagot. Ranthegot or rule. Big bug god. Ranthegot uh, decided to slumber under the ocean near Australia, which is unfortunate because it also drowned. Ranthegot is the biggest, deadest bug in the whole wide world. An excerpt. This thing is decomposing. Large chunks of body can be found on a regular basis floating on the shores of the Indian Ocean. 
Nobody has dared to snap snack upon his flesh. Rule. Okay. Ran the the goth. But they call him like rule, you know? So this is R. Do we have R? I don't think we have R. So R is like this thing with like one, two thing and the thing. You see this R. So R is um, this one. Press the sides remaining and then those in the upper resummoning uh, okay, the ancient realm begin in the middle and then press the top corners and press the right beneath. Okay, we got we got almost all the message, you know. Uh, this is you, right? No, this is not you. This is L? Hmm... This one is like the one that's. I can't really understand this thing. T H. We got a couple, you know. Mm. Are these connected to anything? Hmm. You see, this one is not connected to anything. Ran. This is R. R. This is an L? That's, that's the main issue. I don't know if this is an L. I think it might be an L, you know? So, assuming it's an L, we're going to say that L equals this weird thing that's over there. So, uh, we're decoding, you know, this is an, a decoding episode, this one. We're going to say this one is L. It worked, you see, middle. Okay, so we're only left with this thing. Mm. Is this an U? There's an U and this could be like, oh, I don't know. I don't know if that's a U. This one, you see? What else do we have? The bugs. When started as a handful of bugs that were found in a small village. One by one, more bugs collected in the center, forming a larger and larger mound that only continued to grow. To avoid the eventual takeover of the world, the bugs were contained in a lead bucket with a lid. Nobody knows what horrors would be found were the bugs to be exposed there's a letter here mm. infested could this have been written by charlotte maybe near to tap i am infested you see causer of deceit and confusion the largest eldritch threat to humanity it is common for Nyarlathotep to infest the body of a human and control them for its own motives. Where Nyarlathotep is at the moment is unknown. However, it has taken as its host banishment of that individual to the ancient realm is the only way to stop it from shrouding our consciousness in, an, in the eternal darkness. Even, eventual darkness? Hmm. Okay. I think we need one, like one more V. 
resummoning a loved one from the ancient realm. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. So this should be V. Yes, resummoning a loved one. Love E D. Okay. One. This is F. Uh, we summon in a loved one from the ancient realm begin with okay so with the middle four mm. row press the final note one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. This is the S and press. This is R, P. What? No, I messed up. This is this is said node, you see? Node. Final. V. Press. Row. So this one is W. This one is W. I think we did it. Resummoning a loved one from the ancient realm, begin with the middle four. Okay, so we're gonna we're gonna do what this thing is saying. Begin with the middle four. Press the top two corners, then press those right beneath. Okay, so resummoning a loved one from the ancient realm. It's in English, you know. Begin with the middle four. Oh. I already did that. Begin with the middle four. Press the top two corners. Okay. The top two corners. We did it. Uh, the top two corners. Then press those right beneath. Okay. Mark the lowest road, save the rightmost, which will be last press. Okay, mark the lowest row, save the rightmost, which will be last press. Which will be last. Press the side remaining and then those in the upper row, press the final note. Okay, so. I'm, if I'm reading this correctly, you need to mark the lowest road, save the rightmost, which will be last. Okay, so one, two, three, and this is going to be last. Press the sides remaining and then those in the upper row. Press the sides remaining and then those in the upper row and then this one. It worked. In a moment, the ritual was completed. But something was wrong. Charlotte appeared in front of me. But I saw so clearly that she was not who I remembered her to be. There was a beast inside her. Something horrible. Dark. Okay. Neolarthotep had taken form in my love, and I had unleashed it back into the world. It, it happens, you know?
With a cry of horror, I hid my face. But it was no use. Neolothetep enveloped me, using my soul to fill the gap that was left in the ancient realm. There was nothing to stop Neolothetep from destroying our realm. Darkness enshrouded the human world. I'm gonna say, whoops. I had brought about the new reign of the ancient gods. <laughs> You missed something. Yeah, I got... The, there was a thing that I, I was taken, you know? Ending one of two. Hmm. Restart with full journal. Okay, this is done. And I need to click madness here. Okay. So, madness. M is this one. A. M. Is this one. Ma. D. Where is D? Uh, let me see. D is that one. Mad N is this one. Mad E. Which one is E? E is that one. And S is that one. Okay, we did something. If you're reading this, a loved one has been infested with the soul of Nyarlathotep and banished to the ancient realm. This has traditionally been a hopeless loss of someone special. However, I have done much research on the ancient texts and believe I have found something important that I must hide so it cannot be undone by the evil beings. Bringing your loved one can be done with the use of the Eldritch Board. Doing so, it also will bring the soul of Nyarlathotep with them and the world will fall into chaos. However, were the first and last step of the board sequence switch. Uh, were the first and last step of the board sequence switch. I have reason to believe this will split the soul apart and bring your loved one back without the darkness. I pray that you can use this information with immense caution, as if I am wrong, humanity, as we know it, will cease. Oh, you saw. We can do this. Okay, so. Begin with the middle four, press the... Okay, we're not doing the middle four. That's going to be the last. And we begin with this one. Okay. Middle four. Press the top two corners. Okay. Then press those right beneath. We're doing this. Mark the lowest road, save the rise mode, which will be last. Okay. Uh, press the size remaining. Those in the upper row, and now the four in the center. Huh? It worked? It worked. Charlotte. The woman I love. Yes. She stood before me, exactly as I remembered her. No longer did she have a beast inside her. The ancient split had given her back. Back to me, it says. I grabbed her hand and led her outside the library. We stood together in the moonlight. No words were shared with each other, but no words were needed. Good. All was right. This is the good ending. Charlotte is safe. Nice.
Okay, I guess we we finish Sherlock's exile. Uh, exit. Puzzles, you know. I like puzzles. Have you bothered to question any of it? You know, was any of the stuff I told you true? Or, or was it all part of the process? You know, did we really never test this before? Would I go through all the trouble of dragging one subject out of the jaws of oblivion to test the theory in this? place or is it just part of the reconditioning am i just feeding you a narrative to help you recontextualize your existence is that what cures the cognitivirus <laughs> hey listen you'll never really know as far as you know it's all true or it's all lies or it can be both you know just just because something is a lie doesn't make it not true. All that matters is what you know, you know, the conclusions you come to. That's reality. At least that's as real as anything is ever gonna get. That was a lot of bullcrap, bro. A lot of bullcrap. And we beat 10 games, and apparently this thing needs... This thing believes there are two games I have not beaten. That's kind of weird, you know, because there's more that I have not beaten, I'm thinking. Something is holding the door shut. Hmm. I have not beaten the thing in the lake. I have not beaten the diving bell. I have not beaten the toy shop. weird well okay I'm going to do some research see if we can like mess with the game files or something in order to like unlock the other thing but for now this should be the end of the dreadx collection 2 so I hope you enjoyed this that's it for now see you next time destruction and creation are the same thing